Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Airships Conquer the Skies episode number two. So in the last episode I made one small mistake, I mean I probably made a lot of small mistakes. I haven't aired the first episode yet so I haven't gotten your feedback but I'm not going to lag this as much as I lagged uh, my Cold Water series. I'll ho hopefully only, uh, hopefully everyone will be on the same page with me as of like episode three or four. Um, but the one mistake I was trying to say is my research. I really think I probably should have gone for cannons instead of bombs first because if we want a PVP or I should say an anti-airship ship, I, I might as well just call them an AA ship. Uh, if I want a, a double A ship, <laughs> I needed to have cannons, probably the high level bombers. Uh, but that's an ambitious project to say the least. I think might be overly ambitious. So. Anyway, um, what are we facing here? We have an incoming fleet that's going to take this Squamos, which is not going to have defenses up in time. We sh probably just shouldn't even bother. What we'll do instead is continue to build our bases wherever we can. I mean, uh, what are we doing here? We're sending this one to invade that. That's fine. Uh, where are our other fleets? Uh, you're coming back home? Were you supposed to be... No, you're coming back from that. Are you actually supposed to be moving all the way down there? Are you damaged at all? Here, just move here so I know if you're damaged or not. Where are my other ships? Do I, do I not have other ships? I have two here. One here. Is that all I have? I have one being built. Okay. Well, that solves that one. We'll easily take this. We probably could divide and conquer. Yeah, he does not need to... We can scrap him for 125. That's not a good deal at all. So let's move this one over to... Well, I mean, first of all, we got to start getting defenses up. And I believe with this rifle, that's right. That's right. That's what I need to do. I need to upgrade my defenses now because the old ones are now obsolete. Now, I don't think we need to worry about that one, but everyone who has... Okay, that one's fine. Who has my new design? You. We'll refit you. And let's open, design, uh, there it is, the Musky Smell of Gunpowder Mark II. Let's just open this design first and we'll just show you how to get to that. It's not very difficult. We're just gonna take all the muskets out and put in the rifles. And we'll do the same thing with the other side. Put the rifle in, right click, right click to pick up the muskets. Right click to pick up the rifle and drop them in. Just in case you want to know how to do that, that's the quick way of manipulating things. Now all we've done is change the four muskets to be four rifles and the two muskets to be two rifles. Everything else ident identical, so just to... Can I give commands to this building? We don't usually need to give commands to the building though, so... And then just to make sure the armor is still stone wall, we'll fill that in. Looks good. Save design as the Mark II and leave and refit so that should be refitting uh, to open design this refit good it worked so now we can do the same thing over here defenses refit this one you might not even need to refit these first it's probably better to put two down from um, the perspective that the AI doesn't I don't think at least really care what you have there no, please refit. Yes, refit. And how did that? Oh boy, it's refitting as the wrong one. My mistake. Open design. This one. Open refit. Thank you. Now we're now it's working. Okay, so we can get one more in there. Who else have we conquered? Unless you already have it, we can't afford a new one. We can only afford the level one to level two refit. What about you? Yeah, we got a lot of places that need defenses, so we'll be definitely needing to prioritize that. For now, let's just wait for the money. How much is it to build it from scratch? It's like 220, 260, I forget. Um, okay, so you are, you, we need to get you going. You're gonna invade somewhere. Where? Somewhere over here. So just pretend like you're gonna invade there, and then eventually we'll, uh, Okay, we can conquer this place. Move forward, men. Something like this. 
and this guy will stop a little bit short of that. And it is dusk or daybreak? Dawn. So actually we want to go beyond them in this situation, oddly enough. Because it's harder to shoot left to right, and we want to be going left, uh, shooting right to left then. They're just going to impair their ability to shoot at us. And sometimes these things have less guns facing backwards anyway. Usually not. Sometimes actually they have more guns facing backwards based on some weird AI thing. I don't know, logic or bug or who knows. So I haven't heard yet back. I haven't heard back yet, but I suspect there might be some comments updating me about pillaging versus brutal takeover versus casual takeover or whatever the first one is, the peaceful takeover. I forget exactly. Um, yeah, I, I'm expecting to get some feedback there saying, okay, no, that's not exactly correct, Tortuga. You should always be doing this casual. But again, hopefully those comments can include some justification thereof. I can see we're going to be able to take Marshville. Hey, we've got 387. Let's go ahead and fix the liquor sort to have some kind of building. 238 is the number we're looking for. Put one there and leave. That's it. So every time we have 238, we'll start plopping down some defenses on our new takings, new holdings. Hit that instead. This guy's taking a long time. We could invade. Nope, that's the main city. We don't, we don't, I don't think we quite have the ability to do a main city. This is dusk, so we stay on the side that we are on. It's even easier. And you know what? We probably can start going up to double speed for this. Here. And go ahead and move on in. Just don't want to catch my own team on fire. For not to at least. But these things are happening pretty quickly. Doing pretty well. Let's have you pretend to evade this. Put you right over that city. Um, I could actually invade that myself. Where? Oh, you're going to go for Speltford then? Which is a minor city, yes. And you guys will go for something else. Um, 252, that's enough. Hatwick, do you have a defense yet? Oh, you do. Is this one refit already? It's a Mark II with rifles. Fantastic. Okay, so Hatwick has it. Heptopolis, I think I just upgraded as well. Refit. This is a Mark II. Fantastic. What about Tuscaton? Uh-huh. Scrap it. Let's get a new one in there. Open... Good. Okay, we're just slowly building up defenses, which is nice. The Just the uncontested takeover is obviously far from ideal. Now, if you retake it, you can repillage. <laughs> so there's in some ways, not actually the it's not the worst uh, thing in the world to lose them. And that's where the merit of this like very crazy aggressive takeover and pillage style, uh, that's some of the benefits of it. Um, you can just do this, not, you don't really worry about losing things. The initial pillaging period gets you most of what you want. So we're really waiting for this unit to leave, or we could try to take their capital. In the meantime, let's just go pretend we're going to invade that, and we'll take Bolt Vale instead. And that's probably fine, and you can go there. So, oh, we've got an incoming fleet as well. We'll have to check that out as soon as we're finished with this one. It is dawn, so we want to go past them. I think I'll just do this like this. Oh, this guy's too close. We're not going to be able to. So we'll just start and just move these guys over and hopefully we can just win the day with brute force, which I think is a perfectly fine assumption. The trees are going to be kind of a pain here, but good. There we go. Oh, that was too quick. I didn't even get to enable my outside view in time. Pillage that as well. You are going to invade that. So who is invading me here? Oh, they're going for the place which I'm already pillaging. Well, I might actually be able to move back and protect that one. I believe that they will turn around. Ah, okay. Well, we won't get a chance to find out quite yet. Ooh. Pretty obvious we're not going to want to be there. So lightning storms mean that they'll put out your fires, but they'll also hit you with lightning, which causes huge damage and also starts fire, obviously. So... In the end, I find it less beneficial than it is beneficial. If you're 
with the, these ships all, I mean, my main ship, the Grenadier, does not have any um, uh, fire putter out or um, what's it called? Anyways, it doesn't have any means of putting out a fire. So in that sense, it's actually better storms because putting out a fire is always better, even if you sometimes start one. Uh, because one fire will just ruin my ships no matter what. Okay, let's be a little more... This is a um, precise, or aim fire it's called, this is normal fire. Now when we're about to take this thing, I'll switch back to aim fire to normal fire, because I want it on normal fire for the next mission, and it remembers your settings. Ah, oh, okay, they gave up, and I didn't have... Oh, we did it. I think we got it in time. So, that was nice. Pillage. And are they going to turn back? This is the question, because we actually have to flee if they don't. <laughs> Since we, we don't actually want uh, to fight them. We, these are not our PvP ships yet. And we could make, while we're waiting for the bombs, we could just make a PvP craft. Oh my god, these are all backwards. No, 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 it's rifles. Okay. I mean, I'm looking... If you see on the screen, there's three things pointing backwards, diagonal right upper right, or diagonal, um, diagonal, lower right, to the right. But that's because the rifle range is actually greater than the direction it's facing. <laughs> so these are four, and the four lines are backwards, because they actually have that much range. Now, putting it right here, I could have like a special, I thought about this for a while, being ultra efficient, having a special only forward-facing gun for like the rearmost um, spot on the map, because they can't go behind me if I'm doing this. Um, it would be nice. It actually, it would be nice if the game... Maybe it already does this. It should put this white line here for buildings, but then in the battle, actually allow some area behind the building you can actually go, which would make more sense. So they restrict building, or put the white line over here and allow the actual battle to still take place behind it. So that forces you to not be... like the, you can't, A building can't put its back to an, an imaginary wall, but that's... I mean, it's fine. I, I already have a solution for that, which is... The, to build it exactly how it is with the two rear facing so I'm already pretending that that's the case now this guy it did turn away and the good news is actually he left Squamos vacant which we'll go for um, you can pretend to invade something else maybe dagger guild so oh we got a new and we got our new one aha uh -huh. well let's go there, which is just going to put us in range of this. You're wanted down there, aren't you? We'll take that. We'll take those two, and then we'll come back. Just take everything. And this is dusk. Good. So this is favors us from this side. Three. Got him. Good. Okay, we're pillaging. And you're about to capture that. That's fine. Do that first. But then, yeah, actually, you can just move your way. Yeah, it's fine. We'll, we'll meet up in two different spots and converge later. 202, we still need a little bit more before we can get uh, something. Ah! And they're going to beat me there, unless... Wait, where are you going to? Yeah. I, we're not going to get there in time, but I'll pretend that we're going to. This enemy flees moving to raid one of your cities. Ah, it's the stupid pirates. Where are they going? Oh, Spellford. Okay, well, that one's just being raided, and I'm not sure I'll be able to hold it, so that's not the worst option. Now that we have the money, let's make sure that... Okay, we have one there. I know that we have them there, at least one. Probably wouldn't be unwise to get a second one in some of these, like this one. Scrap this, let's build a normal one here. Very good. Okay, and that's all the money we have, so that's good. Oh, god, they're all fighting over it. Well, in that case, this is our time, our chance. Oh god, where are you going? You went too far. We're going to try to take this city with only three. So they're going to fight each other, which is kind of the best situation. I'm like, okay, that they're going to fight each other. <laughs> if they do, this one might still retreat. Oh, what the heck's going on here? 
What the hell do I have? I mean... Okay. Fragments of... Well, at least we gotta see what they have. They have a ship with one, two, three muskets. Hmm. Oh, they retreated. Damn it. Are they going back? Damn it. Can we get there in time? Can you move to them? Can you move here? Which one has two? This one has two. We can get, are we going to get there in time? <laughs> I don't think so. You're actually fine now. We probably need to build one of these. Okay, what do, how do we deal with this? Uh, bummer. Are you invading that? You are. Okay, you're about to do that. I thought that we could merge our units manually. So we can move them. Because I can, for example, I should be able to move to intercept. Well, I can't move to intercept from... Maybe I can't move to intercept from middle of nowhere. So I guess we'll have to move and wait for them to leave. And then we'll take the capital city after that. So down below the level, which is like here. Okay, start, pause, move. Something like this, speed up time. This one, I'm sure, is going to survive. Uh, it's a, maybe a little overconfident, but has done very well for itself up until this point. Let's put precise fire on, just to make sure we... problems. Looks good so far. Yeah, let's go aggressive now so I don't have to remember later. Looks like we're going to defeat it. There it is. Perfect timing. Pillage. Okay. And you're on your way back. You're on your way back. You're on your way back. Good. We'll have a fleet of three. We'll go for some main cities then. We could go for Oddberry. They don't have a... Oh, they do have a main fleet, but it's down here. So you have one, you have one, you have one, you are building one, you are building one, you're building one. What about you? Are you being raided? Oh, you were raided or have not been raided? Oh, are in the process of, you will be raided. <laughs> okay, that's fine. And you have one, do we already retrofit this one? This is a Mark II, good, okay. So everyone has one except for the ones that are being pillaged right now and I can't actually do anything to them until they're not being pillaged. Or, well, are we gonna try to keep these? I don't know, Put this one down here. Hey, okay, yeah, you're moving. Is it time to get an anti-air thing? These pirates are annoying, but I can't fight them. I'm fine with the income hit. We have three here, we're ready to go. Well, I really do want this uh, uncontested defeat where? I missed it. Somewhere we had an uncontested defeat. Oh, was that just the Voltvale one? Okay, well, look, we can go and take Voltvale back. Just pretend to be invading that one. Cause this guy's slow moving. Ha, huh, we gotcha. And it's just another raid. <laughs> Zoom out. Storm? Ah, oh, it's just rain. In fact, this is an uncontested victory, I guess. Yeah. Hooray! Now let's go ahead and you know, pillage, I guess. <laughs> it's not giving us as much income, you can see, that being taken and then taken and then taken again, it's not helpful. Ah. You're actually active? I wonder how long it'll take to repair. Can I refit you? What, what are you doing right now? Musket, musket. Can I get a rifle instead? How long will it take? Is it worth it? I don't know, but what if we just let's remove this musket and put a rifle in instead? It's 12. How long would this take? Could make a difference. 
We have ammo. Can I give him... Oh, he needs more supply hatches? Okay, that's fine. We'll put a supply hatch in. A wooden one. Over here. Refit. $13. <laughs> I assume that'll be done very quickly. Is it going to be done as fast? Eh, it's not going to be ready in time. Is it? I don't think so. Uh, get there. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> okay, well, it's pretty simple. We can just view what kind of ships we're up against here. They are extremely high. So they're at the ceiling. This is good to know because when I build my AAA, my AA, or anti-aircraft airship, I guess AAA could work. We'll want to know what we're up against. There she blows, Captain. Our one <laughs> solitary <laughs> rifle. Probably not going to conquer this thing, but we'll tell you it's better than having zero. And they're going to even give my musket something to do. That's very generous of them. In fact, we've actually done some damage. Now the musket is going to be close enough to fire. What the heck is going on? Oh, do they have a, a grenadier? They do. Well, that's going to be painful. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty smart move on their part. Ouch. Yep, they're just getting... They're getting into it. This would be a loss for sure. Not that we didn't expect that, but... If we did any damage to them at all, which I don't think we did, then we've done better than I expected. Not, and that's it. We have no arms. No arms, not in the biological sense, but in the weapon sense. Probably where that term comes from anyway, though. Okay, so what are we up to then? We're moving here. Spell <laughs> for income. I'm not sure we're gonna worry too much about whether that one has defenses. Yeah, everyone has a defense, at least one. And those four rifles, I think that they could do something. So how do we play this? Oh, you don't have, you don't have it? Okay, well, let's get you one. It's really building for the future. It's not that I think that this one needs to be defended yet, but... I guess we can go for another capital instead. Like Oddberry? Once we take that, we'll only have Black Spire left. It'll be a pretty big victory. Definitely have to defend that, though. Yeah, so it's going to take money to build this AAA airship. AA airship, I guess I should say. Uh, let's speed up a little bit. Nobody's coming in to attack us yet. Do you have one? Yeah, you do. And you're about to get one. Wow, okay, we're in good shape. Empire is on severe. That's intentional. I You lose cities so easily. I am an idiot. They're not going to defend, apparently. Okay, well, that's interesting. We have bombs. Okay, let's definitely get cannons. <laughs> I mean, actually, we're okay with bombs if we get suspendium changer chambers. So this is an interesting decision, interesting design choice here. Probably the next thing I do after I get the tier... Uh, okay, after I get suspendium chambers and cannons, I want to get tracks and build some siege weapons with cannons, which are great. Um, Imperial cannons would also be nice. I don't know if I've used medium steel armor too much. Okay, so let's do suspendium chambers. It's going to involve coal, and that's really messy. I prefer my... You know what? I really do prefer my bombers, not... Yeah, let's do gun and cannons first. Juking myself. So here we go. Our first big fight. We're bringing in... Wow, we're bringing a lot of stuff in. Let's move you guys back. Build, move this one forward. Just underneath that. Now we can move you guys back forward. Now, it doesn't really matter how close we make them to that, but they need to be spread out so they can just maneuver all to the front together. Good start. And here we go. One at a time here. So go here. And then you're going to climb. And get in and get all these... Is that... You're not moving? Gonna, you're not going to obey? It's not like we have a lot of guns here. Let's get going. Okay, climb. 
climb and actually just overshoot by a bit, which will give me more space to work. Okay, go for this. Alright, there. Go for this. And this is unfortunately just going to be a backup. He's not going to be able to get into the fight, I believe. squeeze him really tight, maybe he gets in there. We're just demolishing the first one already. Just move forward a little bit. We can get everyone in the fight here. Move forward, must move forward. This guy's probably gonna brush that tree. Let's go to outside view so I can see how... Ooh, he is in... You can see how these guys just get in terrible shape. Tons of damage. Um, I need you to move back this guy can flee. And let's get you in there instead. We want to save these ships if we can. Ah! Come on, man. Control yourself. Okay, back up. You don't even have any weapons left, so you're useless. That's good. Fire is not good. Probably gonna lose one to fire. You actually still have weapons, so we might need you. Okay, we need to kill this thing very quickly because this fire is not doing good things for us. It could destroy our whole ship if it gets to this, but if not, it's just gonna require some repairs. And I think we've done it. Have we done it? How are they still attacking? I don't know. Get this guy forward. Ah, we did it. They all survived, but we're gonna need some repairs now. Okay, pillage. Okay, who is left intact? Probably nobody. <laughs> Just gonna send them all back. A whole lot of you for repairs. Now, that gives us a little money, so we can either make our defenses, which is, you know, the Tortuga ways to stand tall and defend, or we can build this... Uh, a double A ship. Oh, Spellford, the one that, um, yeah, has like no income at all. I don't even know why I built. Okay, let's scrap this for zero gold, hooray. Um, so yeah, three income. These things have traded sides so many times they just are in terrible shape. So I think that these that are a little bit better, let's anything with 20 income is gonna get a second. Definitely gonna get a second defense. I wanna put them far enough apart that they don't get hit by the same bombs. But otherwise, pretty close. I think that looks fine. Okay, you got one. 15, is that my... Well, Talon here needs a second one. It's only two income, so you're really only paying for the... Uh... Oh, you can get it there without costing $3. Even better. Uh, you're really only paying for the initial cost, and they are just pennies. For the maintenance after that. Speaking of pennies for the maintenance, I would not say the same for the amount of repairs we're gonna have to do here. Probably a lot. This one's gonna be quick to repair. Uh oh. Did you guys make it there? Not quite yet. Where are you? You're going to Is, which has defenses. Interesting. That's a bold move. We're gonna go after you guys next. You pull a maneuver like that. But I'd say. I guess after these repairs are done, we need to wait for the repairs. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all of them. Oh, huh. The capital ship actually doesn't need repairs. So where's the second one coming from? And yeah, we saw that one. Ah, finally. Okay, good. So that one's making a move on. Did Marshfield get a defense? It did. Ah, this is going to be interesting. We'll see what they have. And move here, we might. Well, it's the slowest moving one. So as soon as the ones, these other ones are repaired, we'll send them over and we'll hopefully take Darkfell Bane. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, they have some dragon, courageous, indefatigable. Pretty cool, I like that. What do we think we have? Two guns, two guns, probably two guns behind here too. So four rifles, four, that's going to be already enough, I'm sure, to overcome this. But I haven't seen this thing in action, at least in this campaign, not for a while. 
let's see how she does. And again, not being able to give her targeting orders, I think that's just fine. Does this person have... Oh, actually, it looks like it is the case that I put them all the way and there is a little space behind them. So never mind. Completely disregard that it's already built. Let's see if we get any damage done. Or if we just... If I were them, I'd be targeting these things. But I don't think you get a choice. If I were a gunner, though, if you put me first person, that's where I'd be going. Right for that. Just knock them to the ground. Which means that... Okay, so that, for example, is good. Oh, which means that they're, they won't leave. They will be destroyed at the end of the battle because they are no longer mobile. And if they're not mobile, then oh, maybe I will do it here. That one might be the enough. It's just a matter of time which one gives first. Oh, we got a fire, but I do have a fire thing. I'll pick the other one again, maybe. Maybe I do wish I could get orders. Two rear firing ones are the one. Are the one hope. I don't think it's going to happen now. We still have a fire thing, but there's probably no path available. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, so they'll survive. They will need some repairs, which means they'll probably move back to Darkfell Bane, which is unfortunate, but who's here? Okay, move. Refit, refit. Move. Oh, shoot. Okay, another one of these. Start. They probably wouldn't attack unless they knew they could win, so... What are we up against here? Three guns? This is more promising. That's wooden armor, not steel, I think. Is the last one steel or just painted? I don't know. I think we need some damage in this one. But they have three as well. So good initial damage. Good damage there. Oh! If only they had hit each other. I guess they're smarter than that. We are distributing fire all over the place, yeah. So. Okay, so what do we want to do here? We wanted you to move there as well. Do we really want... Oh, so it looks like we're going to need two for defenses. So anyone who doesn't have two, just start getting going on that. Dark times, but we've been shown the necessity of having two. Actually, I'd rather drop down, frankly. Okay, that's good. And... Hatwick, you'll need a second one as well. We have the money. Might as well protect our provinces. That's good. I probably won't build more than two, no matter what. And this one definitely needs it, but I don't have the money. It's like one of my best provinces. <laughs> so we'll wait for everyone to collect over here in Squamos, and then we'll go for Marshvale, but then we'll double back over to Darkfell Bane. And Black Spires are done. Where is this one going? You cheeky. Cheeky bastard. Let's move one to Oddberry to hopefully thwart them. That one hasn't been repaired yet either. Where else are we getting invaded? So they have one going to Voltvale. This is not a good decision. That poor place has been pillaged <laughs> more times than Rome. Not that Rome was pillaged that many times, frankly. Belford, it's the it's the same old places, man. When we get those and finally under our control indefinitely, it's going to be a long time before they actually produce a profit. <laughs> Alright, let's get another one here. I hate the fact that trees cost so much. Okay, fine. Spend it. Just do it. Alright, and now let's... Oh god. I sent the wrong group. Invade, and they did double back. Okay, I'm to contest the compete. That's fine. Is this guy going? He is. So we're going to have to do some fancy maneuvering here. Uncontested the victory. That's fine. Do I want to take it? Am I going to get there first? I don't know. I don't think so. Send this guy to invade, and we'll send him back. We're just trying to keep him there. Ah, okay, well, that's perfect. Now we'll go in and take his big city. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send 
one um, unit down to take this back. That should be one, yes. And these three, because it's hard to maneuver the uh, more than two of them anyway. Although it was useful in the last fight, but uh, for taking on Barry, which is now producing 60, so that's great. Do we need another? Do we? Oh, we have four. How much are these, by the way? Maintenance of one. Well, that's quite nice. They have muskets, though. We really have to... I don't know what this design is. Let's refit this as a... What does it call it? What is this thing considered itself? Great Fastness. Well, let's call it the Great Fastness Mark II, I guess. But we got to get rid of this pathetic... I really ought to just scrap it. How much are you if I scrap you? 24. That's really not enough. Okay, we'll refit them just because it's the right thing to do, I think. <sighs> what is this? Cockpit, musket, musket. I guess being able to give them one order every so often. Musket, musket. This is horrible. We need to flip this thing. So leave, cancel. Yeah, leave. Uh, sorry. Move, flip. Move, flip. No, I, I, it actually doesn't matter. Move, flip. We'll just do it ourselves. Move, flip. We'll redo it ourselves. That way I don't have to move and flip everything everywhere. So, we're refitting and we'll just do it ourselves. So, take a rifle, put it down. Get one of those in a second. But actually what I want first is this. Uh, musket's gone. Bunk. Okay. Now, the cockpit here, and the rifles instead, and then the rifle flipped. Great. Save this design as Mark II. I really don't like that design, but hey, it's easy to re really easy to refit this way, right? Open. 57. It's fine. Refit. Refit. Open design. fit and we have 57 so we can do one more open design there's probably going to be some advice on how to do this a little bit faster which i'd be happy to hear okay so we're going to try to take this with three ships which hopefully is enough hatwick is partially recovered from the war well we have two there to defend two and two and two and not two. Okay, we'll need to spend some money on Kastovich, Talon, and yeah, just get all these guys with two. Oh, Coloron's about to be attacked. Didn't realize that, but this is a bigger, much bigger fight. Move you back, move you back, move you to the front. You're supposed to take all the damage. He doesn't end up because he ends up flying so high that they target the closer ones down below, but that's okay. So, start, pause. This time it would be great if you moved immediately. Immediately. Good. It worked. It's moving. A little bit more. Go ahead and rise to the occasion after your screening action. Uh, you go right here, and you're gonna go low, but there's not gonna be a way for you to really... That's probably too close, huh? That might be okay. You move a little bit more forward. You move a little more forward. You move a little bit more forward. You, that's not quite far enough. More! Give me more! We're kind of squeezing in there. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. That's tight. There, we're actually able to do damage now, though. Let's look at the outside view, see how we're doing. Uh-oh, fire. It's night. The darkness reduces the accuracy of all weapons. Okay, well, that. the good news is I think that it helps us more than it hurts. Fire is not good. Definitely not ideal. Boy, speaking of fires, though, my goodness. Uh-oh, two fires. This is really, really, really not good. Let's get this guy to launch his coordinates with rapid abandon. Rapid fire as well. Go in! You're on fire! 
We're gonna lose both of these, I think. But I think that they'll end up getting the job done. Or they might survive. I mean, if we finish this battle fast enough, they will. But I don't think that it's going to be the case. Oh, you're going to survive. Get out! Get out! We're just going to give him another target, unfortunately. So let's put this guy here. Oh, it's too late. You have to do accurate fire, because you're probably not going to make it. At least if you're going to fall, fall on top of them. <laughs> Brutal comment. <laughs> we'll go up to the top now, since we're going to fire angrily. Ah, this one's still wreaking havoc as well. So we probably would have needed that third. I did... Th that. It just didn't work out. We got... We are caught on the fire. By the way, this is a nice pitch for actually using the fire. We're probably going to run out of ammo. We're at zero ammo already. Yeah, well... If we can get this thing to have enough damage to be inoperable, we're gonna wait till everything is completely out of ammo. This is a tough old bird. And I'm not seeing any other things happen. That fire is pretty much out. Okay, well, then fair enough. We'll fleet this battle. And we'll have to call it to a close here. So we destroyed one, but two survived. So that's what we get for not putting all all of our ships in at once, but we can always buy another one. So we'll call this episode to a close. Thanks for watching, and until the next episode, pray I do better. <laughs> I think we'll be okay. We'll get a few more Grenadiers, and it's almost time to make that transition. Obviously, we're suffering from a uh, lack of an ability to shoot at the sky, and the Grenadiers are just going to become less and less useful as time goes on. So, so until the next one, where we will immediately lose Coloran, thanks for watching, and take care.